no. It can't be. No! This is the last straw! I beg your pardon? This is the last straw! No, we have more in the back. You took away the bendy straws! You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Hello, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2 fans, that's one here. And I really hope you enjoy my movie review of Kim Possible Movies, Saw the Drama, which I really hope you enjoy that review because I'm a type of guy who I bring you childhood in this reality. And I'll probably be wondering what I'm drinking right now. Well, it's frozen coke. So thanks to my mom, got me some frozen coke from Mickey D's. Or you call it McDonald's, whatever you call it. Which I love frozen coke. Or even on the first bite, but I like frozen coke. <clears throat> anyway, and honestly guys, honestly guys, I'm probably some of the pop culture or defending about this news. Which honestly guys, if you're looking forward to the Ray movie, I would totally respect your opinion. And I am so glad that people are really looking forward to this film. But honestly guys, uh, uh, but honestly guys, we all agreed that we do not want a Ray movie. Because after, <clears throat> after what they done to her character and Ray, I mean... I mean, in the in the way that, I mean, in the way of Skywalker, this is when my love of rage just flushed down in the freaking toilet. So, hey guys, so today I'm doing my thought on the upcoming Ray movie, or it's called a rant, whatever you call it. Anyway, I just find this news article named Mary Sue. Guys, I am not joking. It was seriously, honestly, they have audacity to, honestly, they have audacity to name the news article a Mary Sue. Like, are you kidding me? Who in the monkey wanna make a news article and call it Mary Sue? Honestly, guys, it is kind of reminding me you wanna make a news article and you call it woke. Like, yeah, honestly, guys, <laughs> honestly, guys, even, <laughs> honestly, guys, even I should not be on that website, but here's an, uh, honestly, guys, here's the one article I have to talk about it. So, yeah. <clears throat> honestly, guys, I'm probably, guys, are wondering if Way Movie is gonna get canceled. <laughs> yeah, of course not, because this film have a bunch of Kathy Kennedy's name on it. Like, honestly, guys, uh, honestly, guys, the biggest Karen from the Lucasfilm. Honestly, guys, not in her past, but I'm talking about her as a president for Lucasfilm. <clears throat> Sorry about the guy that was drinking the frozen coke again. All right, back up saying. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, no further ado, let's read this news article, which we have to cut it down because my mom downstairs and she's, and she's not doing film, I, I mean, she's not, uh, honestly, she's not feeling well, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make it as a calm rant. Even this is a rant video, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna, honestly, guys, it didn't mean I'm gonna flip the crap out what Kathy Kennedy is doing, which we're gonna give her respectful to my mature moment. Anyway, let's read the article together, everyone. All right, kids? Ready? I mean, everyone, are you ready? Let's do this. No, the way movie is not d the rating in Denver way. And I was read this article right here. Disney ain't the rating the way movie. Sorry to the angry dude online who really want, um, wanted that to be a, a reality. And please, can you please erase Disney and put Lucasfilm? I'm just getting sick of tired. People keep blaming on Disney for everything. Like, honestly, guys, when the Way movie was announced, people were saying, Oh, it's Disney fault. It's Disney fault. Bob, I mean, Bob Arco should be fired. It's not Bob Arco's fault. Bob Arco had nothing to do with the Star Wars. Honestly, guys, just because Disney buying, I mean, just because Disney have a, I mean, have the right to own Star Wars, it didn't mean it's Disney fault. It's Lucasfilm and Kevin Kennedy. Honestly, guys, that's the only two things that you can, <laughs> that you can blame on. Like, honestly, guys, why do we need a Ray movie? We have three movies starting Ray. Honestly, why do we need another one? Honestly, honestly, guys, what is going on with today's society? Honestly, guys, Lucasfilm nowadays, it's not good it used to be. Because Kathy Kennedy, honestly, guys, I really enjoy her work in the, I mean, in the past. Like her E.T. with, I mean, 
with、uh, Steven Stillbud. And like I said, that, that was way back then that she was a very calm female and she was a very amazing back then. But nowadays, honestly,、uh, guys, after. <clears throat> Honestly, guys, after she signed the contract and she became the president of Lucasfilm, her legacy is just flushing down the toilet. Like, honestly, guys, what is going on? Honestly, what's going on with her? Because, honestly, guys, the biggest problem I have with Kathy Kennedy is h a s to be she h a v e no idea what the heck is she doing. She h a v e honestly, she h a v e no idea what she's doing. What kind of president for Lucasfilm don't have a sofa to you and don't have anything have to do with the Lucasfilm project? And like I said, she ruined Star Wars. She ruined Willow, which I haven't seen that show, but that show is on.、Uh, I mean, that show is not on Disney Plus, which I was like, yeah, screw it. I'm not watching that. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm not watching that. But here's the one thing the Lucasfilm have one simple job. And all of a sudden, they screw up Indiana Jones. I definitely agree with Preston. I absolutely did not like the, the, the direction what they took in the. I mean, what they took in the Indiana Jones 5. I'll probably that trailer that came out before the movie came out. It's just a very disrespectful. And speak of disrespectful, maybe, honestly, maybe tomorrow, maybe I could do my thoughts on the Christopher Lee family are not impressed with the Flash cameo and they didn't even watch it. So, yeah. So, over guys, it is nothing to say about it because why do we need another Ray movie? Because we already have it for The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, which I like The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. That's the two things I will put up with Ray. But after her character art and after what s h e done and after she said she is a Skywalker, like, it's a huge spin in the face to the Luke Skywalker. And to be honest, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. I'm just, honestly, I'm just getting sick of t i r e of Campy Kennedy just touching the Star Wars properly and making the Fenders and Menace to be a strike again. Like, are you kidding me? The Fenders and Menace have to go. The Fenders and Menace have to go, and Campy Kennedy, it needs to go. Go away, pack your bag, I mean, pack your,、um, pack your stuff, and go away, okay? I'm just getting t i r e of, honestly, I'm just getting sick of t i r e of talking about Campy Kennedy, okay? First, she said that Phoebe, that, that Phoebe、uh, honestly, no, 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 I'm not talking about Phoebe from the pop culture. I'm not saying that. No, I'm talking about the actress that she was,、uh, no, I'm talking about the actress and the writer that she wrote No Time to Die, which I was completely shocked and speechless that she wrote that No Time to Die, which No Time to Die, I mean, No Time to Die is a fantastic James Bond movie. It's honestly one of my favorite Bond movie ever. <clears throat> Anyway, by God's saying, sorry guys, if honestly, if c a m p y Kennedy g e t fired, the Star Wars will be safe. But until then, <laughs> honestly, Lucasfilm is not firing c a m p y Kennedy anytime soon. But honestly, guys, I'm not wishing her dead. No, I'm not wishing her dead. Like, honestly, if you wish people dead, honestly, guys, they make you, um, honestly, guys, um, honestly, guys, they make yourself like a lunatic, honestly. I'm, honestly, I'm not trying to be rude and all, but I'm just saying, like the fact. Anyway, I just want Kathy Kennedy to go back back in the good old days. Man, I do like Kathy Kennedy back in the good old days, but after she b e c o m e the president of Lucasfilm, she turned to a Karen. Like, I do not, honestly, I do not, honestly, I do not want female to act like a Karen, honestly. So, yeah. Anyway. Honestly, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this, please, I highly recommend you. You hit the subscribe button, join the notification, and share the video with your whole family. And in this news, I mean, in this movie, it's definitely going to get the way. I do not care what Kathy Kennedy said, but this film has Kathy Kennedy's name on it. And I'm just done with Star Wars after the, I mean, after the Rise of Skywalker because I was completely heartbroken and speechless how they, um, How they did that film back in five years, I mean, four years ago. It, honestly, guys, it's gonna be five years when The Rise of Skywalker, which the same thing with What a Crapper. I might do a video called Why,、uh, I mean, Why, the, I mean, why,、uh, why a Rise of Skywalker ruined Star Wars. So that's my video, will be in my Star Wars week. So, yeah. Anyway, have a great, I mean, have a great afternoon, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And if I have time today, stay tuned for my thoughts 
on the quiz, I mean, on the quiz where we family was not impressed with the Flash cameo, which is a really, I mean, which is a very disrespectful. And I mean, and the fact is, on the Flash film was released the same day as the other Superman actor, uh, I mean, die. On the guy, which is the same actor that he was not liking him as Superman, and he committed suicide years ago, which it was completely sad, and I feel bad for that. Man. Anyway, and one day, on the, on the guy that when WB have audacity to release the same day as the act of die of Superman, that's just pure evil. So I might do a video about that, maybe later on tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe next week. Anyway, have a great have a great afternoon, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And if I change my mind, on the guy who stayed for my TV show review of Kim Possible 2002 all the way to 2007. Goodbye. See you guys next time, and once again, yadios.